Hi everyone, it's Rax bringing you another challenge rift guide. This monk challenge rift is actually kind of fun and once you figure out how everything works, it's really not too bad. So we have the raiment set. So let's look at the six piece. Our spirit generators make our dashing strike do more damage and our dashing strike makes our generators do more damage. So we're gonna pretty much just dash and generate, dash and generate, and that's all we're gonna do. Shenlong's has an interesting mechanic. We're gonna deal more damage for every point of spirit that we have. When our spirit is full, we're gonna get a huge damage increase, but it's gonna to try to drain all of our spirit. And when our spirit is drained, we lose that buff. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So. Here's our generator, Crippling Wave Tsunami. When we punch and we gain spirit, notice I'll get the Shenlong's buff and it's gonna try to take away all my spirit once I get there. Okay, so we're full, we see the buff and it's trying to drain it. So we're gonna try to keep, keep it up as long as we can. Epiphany and Breath of Heaven help with that. So whenever Epiphany and Breath of Heaven are up and then we lost it, okay? Anyway, it's, an interesting mechanic, but it this challenger really isn't too bad at all. Breath of Heaven, every time it's up, use it. Epiphany, every time it's up, use it. And when Epiphany is up, if you attack with a generator from distance, it will teleport you to them. So I'll demonstrate that here in a second once this comes up. Epiphany is up, activate it, click, whoop. That combined with how much you can dash you have some insane mobility on this monk, which is what makes it so fun. Never use your mantra, never use wave of light. It does no damage. It's all about the generators, the generator and the dashing strike. So what do you do in the rift? Spam, breath of heaven and epiphany. Dash to monsters, punch them. Dash to monsters, punch them. Dash to monsters, punch them. That's all there is to it. Let me take you into the rank one clear I currently have and I'll show you the path. All right, everyone, this challenge rift is actually kind of fun. So at the beginning, you'll activate your epiphany and your breath of heaven and you can just mash those all the time. And then you can move forward in two ways. You can either dash forward, which you should do sometimes to get that damage buff for your spirit generator. Or you can just punch while epiphany is up onto a monster and that will also teleport you forward. You can see when I get my Shenlong's buff on that yellow and I just hold my generator down, the yellow just dies instantly. So the first map is pretty straightforward. Just head down and to the left and you'll be on a Hell Rift. And just kind of teleport your way forward and smash everything down with your generator. A reminder, you never want to cast Wave of Light. It's just going to waste your spirit. And you never have to cast your Mantra. I was never in any danger at all in any of my runs. This monk is pretty tanky. So we'll get that yellow down, we'll dash forward. You can really get some blazing speed here. Finally, a good map, a Ghostbuster Spire with a conduit. And you don't have to feverishly run through it like I did. You can take your time and run around and zap everything, but I'll show you the optimal way if you're going for speed. Kill the blue and then head up. And we are going to fight this yellow. No problem, goes down quite easily gonna head over to this power pylon these blues come over to us we'll go ahead and dismiss them from class grab the power head to the left there's some blue goatmen and a little ghost right here dispatch them quickly and then we are gonna head off of this map I was out of spirit and I was out of dashes so I took a moment to get some more spirit right there final floor head across kill the little bumblebee hiding in the room you can actually go either way here to the right, there are some blue seraphs. I decided to go this way to head towards the five pack of blue bulls. I dash once and dash one more time. And these should be enough to spawn the boss. If not, just run around and kill a little bit more and that will be enough. And once you get your Shenlong's buff up for Blighter, he will get evaporated just like that. Sayonara. Well, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you guys have fun with this challenge rift. It's got some incredible movement, and I will see you next week. I make these guides every single week. Thank you.